get rid of the one. But there. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's
And they said, well, they're, they're free. Did you say free? <laughs> yes, free. No. It's always hard to give them away. So, but, but two years ago, I figured if we gave away one pound of cookies every 35 seconds, we'd get rid of them by the end of the day. <laughs> so we had to really work. <laughs> yeah, okay. well, we look forward to seeing you again on Congress. That's good. But that's probably all that y'all need to hear from where I live and move. But let's have a prayer together. Almighty God, tonight we are mindful of the work to be done here at this council meeting. I have a great deal of gratitude for the fact that I live in a, in a democracy. And I don't believe there's any better picture of democracy than a town council where people work out the issues of where they live and they do it together and with respect. And so tonight, I pray for each one here that each one will use their minds and hearts and voices to express what they need to express, and they'll use their ears and hearts and minds to hear what is being said. And may their decisions be the best decisions for this, this community. And we ask this in humility. Amen. Uh, Bishop Bulls, thank you very much. We stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Reef Walker, Scott Whitaker, town manager. D. Hall, finance officer. We have a motion um, to accept the meeting agenda, um, open session minutes, and council budget amendment. And if we have a motion and a second, then we can discuss amendments. I'll make a motion to approve it. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Um, do we have comments? Yeah, what do we need to do at number 12? Because we have no attorney. And he's asked us to address something specifically. You want to delete 12B and add 12C? Uh, what did he want to talk about? Uh, I, I uh, have to delete 12A and B. I, I have a suggestion. He's updated you by email um, on item 12B. And so I would suggest. Um, removing item A and removing B and creating a new A about uh, the case Todd Road Truck versus Diane Hoffman. I'll withdraw my motion. Do you want to amend it? Uh, I'll, I'll withdraw it, let me clean her, and I'll make a new motion to approve the consent agenda. Have we, with, have, have we withdrawn the second? Withdrawn the second. Um, I'll make a motion to approve the consent agenda, deleting 12A and B is written and replacing 12A with uh, the lawsuit Diana versus Todd Road Truck. And, and we can write that Todd Road Truck versus Diane Laughlin. We can go with that. We don't have an attorney. Um, we don't have an attorney that will discuss this. We, we have some direction from the attorney that he's passed along that, that I would be glad to speak to briefly and you don't have to make a motion or there doesn't have to be any action, but if you want it on the agenda, we can discuss it. You said that the attorney had sent an email about 12B, those session minutes. So you know, didn't have any. Oh, he had, did, when did he send that? This afternoon. Okay. It's, it's hard to check emails right before you bring out the door. Um, I have a request um, to add a closed session, um, a closed session for discussing um, 
uh, possible uh, under NCGS 143.318.11.85 um, to discuss po possible property acquisition. That has been put on the retreat agenda for Saturday, January 26th, possible property acquisition. And rather than wait until that Saturday to find out what property we're talking about, it might be appropriate to have a closed session tonight so that we're more familiar with, with uh, what you have in mind. Have you signed the non-disclosure agreement? <clears throat> no, but I certainly am not going to share anything out of the out of closed session that has to do with waiting. I don't think we should have a closed okay. session without an attorney, A, and B. That closed session is following a discussion by counsel to talk about anything. Yeah, I don't see the purpose. Okay. I don't, I don't um, well, here's my question then for the manager. When will we be able to talk about the possible land acquisition that you have on the agenda for Saturday, January 26th? That meeting is going to be in Kernersville. I don't think they'll be public present. It's a possible land acquisition. I think we should have some more information in advance. <clears throat> Property is a proposed topic for the agenda that is yet to be approved. You'll be addressing that tonight. And uh, that as um, Council Member Barnes suggested that would be in context, potentially following a discussion then. So I'm not prepared to offer anything in a closed session or otherwise prior to that discussion. So land if okay. Um, and on the, um, are there any other discussion about um, amendments for the agenda? Any, um, did you make a second? I'm no, second. I thought you, I thought you, I thought uh, John had seconded. The amendment was approved because I thought we were ready to make it. You didn't make a second. Uh, uh, adding the leading A and B and adding A is road correct versus that one. Right. Okay. And, okay. and that would leave a B, which would be reports, updates, and comments. Okay. And um, any comments about the minutes? Um, unfortunately, um, we did not receive the minutes before um, the town council, before town hall shut down for Christmas. I looked and I didn't see them, so I didn't see them until recently. So I'm sorry we didn't have an opportunity um, to discuss this. But just a couple of comments. Um, under uh, historical, said Gary Brown reviewed the, um, the activities dated November 29th meeting. He also pre pre said, uh, presented that 3D video of the Saunders Inn. I think that's when it was done. And it was very interesting. I just thought it should be part of the council minutes. It, it was presented on uh, Saturday, December the 15th that rescheduled meeting, um, if you would like to suggest an amendment to the minutes to add that, uh, that would be for council's well, consideration. And I, and I would have suggested this earlier, but we didn't get them before, we didn't get them, you know, within the 10 days, um, I didn't see it well, last week. They, I would suggest... They were in the packets last week and posted on Thursday. Which so was late Thursday, the packet arrived on Friday. It was late Thursday, unless people went to the council at time hall they the um, Are you making a motion? To all right, I make a motion yeah, to amend. Motion. Also, a motion to no, I can't make the motion. Someone has to make the motion to amend the minutes to include the information about the three D video of the Saunders Inn, which was presented. Maybe someone. Want to withdraw the motion and make a motion? No. The second. I want to vote. I want to vote on what we've got. We had plenty of time to review this. I'm ready. Let's go. I have been recommending for a long time that these be three separate items and um, that they be, have each be a separate item. And, and I think that they did that at 758 and we were asked to have it, you know, okay by noon. Y'all know I don't get emails during the day. <laughs> I mean, after I wrote something in four hours, but I don't even know. I'm how. confused with the problem. We, we had minutes in the packets that were available last Thursday Friday. night or Friday morning. And so we've had it since Friday morning to
to review minutes. So let, let's not make that an issue. We should have we should have the minutes. I think there's a policy within 10 days, and unfortunately they were not done before it closed for Christmas. So um, no one's going to, there's a number of things in here actually that um, that I think were um, should have been included. And in the future, could we could we uh, stick with the policy that we have these the draft minutes within 10 days of the meeting? Is that a policy or is that a that a chance policy? So the policy, the, the, the verbal directive, it's not a written policy, the verbal directive uh, this summer, uh, spring or summer, was to have the minutes posted within 10 days of the meeting, mm -hmm. along with the meeting summary, and that has happened every month, with the exception of December. Uh, we, went, we were on vacation uh, for the holidays two days after the, the last meeting. Um, the, December 19th, and the minutes uh, were ready this past week. Um, I apologize that they were a few days late, and um, otherwise we have a good track record of having the minutes posted within 10 days of the last meeting. And Madam Mayor, I'll take just make a suggestion. If somebody has a problem with the minutes, in the past, council usually called the manager absolutely or the clerk and said, um, I recall this was there, could we add it? They could have sent out a, 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 a change right by exactly. exactly. and sent there. I know they were here Monday. I mean, you know, that's I'm just thinking in the they future. were. The, um, it was it was difficult because it was so late in getting to us. Whatever. I'm in the pit. No, totally. The that's why I'm mentioning about the ten days, so that we have an opportunity um, you know, to, to have the. Uh, these were already distributed, so it was um, it was kind of late for that, and um, no one wants to make the um, amendment. So, um, <coughs> do we have any uh, questions or comments about the budget amendment? Madam Mayor. I'd like to call the question. I have a motion and have a second. With no discussion for the budget. Okay. You're you calling the question. Is there a second to call the question? A second. Okay. All those in favor of approving the median agenda with the amendment for um, A and B to be removed and just have information about Todd Road Track versus Randall Laughlin, um, the open session minutes, and council budget minutes. I've got a question about the budget amendment. Okay. Um, and I'm assuming. The question, wait a minute, are we recalling the question? Um, the question. The question's been called. So, in rules of procedure, the debate is finished. Discussion is finished. It's, uh, it is, it is, the question has been called, and it's now all in favor, yay or nay, according to rules of procedure. Well, I can't discuss. You could have five minutes ago. You could have five minutes ago, but the question was called. The question's been called. Just it's don't now have all the favor. Let's, let me, if you've got something productive. Yeah, I just let's, want to know. Let's let it, it, is, quick it is the taxpayer's money, so let's, I think the questions are quick. quick. Then why wasn't, why didn't you, first, I'm not even going to ask. The, the appropriate time to bring it up is after See, the motion has been made, the second has been made, then there's discussion. You're removing insurance. To the PNR. Why has he? Has he not had it before? No. Uh, he's been on his place in charge. Now he just. I just want to follow. Okay. Yeah, that's my only that's question. Fine. That's fine. Jeez. Um. I ain't pulling that email. All those yeah. in favor, say raise your hand. Say aye. Aye. Uh, <coughs> opposed. Motion carries four to one. I would still request um, again, um, Mr. Whitaker. I would request that these three items be separate, and I think it would move faster on the agenda. I make a motion that we don't change the way we've been doing things. Well, then we'll just continue to talk about our stuff and call people and ask if you have a question. That's well, we've motion. done that. We've done that. That's my well, motion. We had, Number five announcements. We, don't, we didn't have the packet back on Wednesday. Yeah. I don't have, we're supposed to have packets like Wednesday before the meeting, too. Okay. That just looks like my motion. Okay. Right. Number five is announcements. Mr. Whitaker, do you have announcements? Uh, 
uh, yes ma'am, uh, presentation of the intersection of master planning uh, by Withers and Ravenel, uh, got to be scheduled for uh, bad weather, so that's going to be Tuesday, January 15th, next Tuesday at 6.30, and uh, that is, uh, Lance, remind me, that's a town hall, correct? Or is that the community, that's at the community center? That's 6.30 or 7, it says on the agenda 7. Yeah, it's listed as town hall. Okay, town hall. And uh, for upcoming events, uh, we still, the legislative meeting greet um, uh, has been scheduled for Wednesday, January the 16th at 2.30 uh, at Oak Ridge Town Hall for uh, council members. And also, uh, just another reminder that the strategic planning retreat is January 25th and 26th um, at uh, Piedmont Triad Regional Council, uh, as the mayor suggested or reported in the beginning. And Jeff Emery from the North Carolina Department of Commerce will be the facilitator. Question. He's from North Carolina Department of Commerce. He's not with the people triad. Correct. Because uh, that's different. Right. We we often have a challenge in, in getting a facilitator, and uh, the PTRC did not have a facilitator available. And uh, we reached out to the Department of Commerce as we have in the past, and uh, that that was who we um, ended up with was Jeff Emery. Um. Good emergency service report. Hey, I'm sorry. The meeting greet was. The meeting greet is um, is the 16th next Wednesday at 2:30 in the afternoon at Oak Ridge Town Hall. Um, I showed 2:30 to 4:30. People, is that correct? And that's to meet the newly elected officials. Right, dignitaries and newly elected. Um, emergency <coughs> service report. Do we have a report from the Summerfield Fire Department tonight? <coughs> um, in the month of December, the Summerfield Fire District ran 30 fire-related calls, 61 EMS-related calls, and 35 other calls. Our call total was 126 incidents. We installed 17 car seats. We reached seven children and 18 adults through fire prevention and community outreach. Um, we want to thank everyone that donated for our Toys for Tots drive. We were able to donate um, over 10 boxes full of toys. Um, and then our safety message this month, um, we wanted to let you know that 2018 was one of the deadliest years on record for fire deaths in North Carolina. North Carolina State Fire Marshal is reminding people to be careful and stay focused on fire safety in 2019. 133 people died in the state because of fire, according to release by the fire marshal. That's 50 more people than in 2017. New construction house fires are burning hotter and faster. Please remember it's critical to have a working smoke detector, have and practice an escape plan, and if you think you have a problem, call 911 right away and get out and stay out. What's your promoter to assistant chief service? Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Guilford County Sheriff's Department. Good evening, everyone. I'm Captain Brian Hall with the Guilford County Sheriff's Office, District 1. Uh, for the previous month, the Sheriff's Office responded to 122 calls for service in Summerfield. Uh, we took nine Part 1 crime reports. Those were our more serious uh, type crimes. For the past month, those nine were strictly property crimes, no, no sort of aggravated assaults or anything more serious than that. And currently, no crime trends that pertain to something. Thanks very much. You're welcome. And emergency services, no report. Um, committee reports for finance. The finance committee did not meet in December and we won't meet in January. Um, history. I think about it. Before I start my report, I have a request of the council. We can't hear you back here. If you oh, we'll try and talk just louder. A bit more, okay. That'd be great. Thank you. Our history so, committee. Is Mrs. Ingram? Yes. Uh, Gary, our chairman, was unable to be here tonight, so he asked me as vice chair to give you our report, which is that we did not meet in December. Uh, but we did want to remind everybody of a upcoming project that we have that we'd like for everybody to be aware of. On 
February 21st and 28th from 7 to 9 p.m. each of those nights. We are having a pro program presented by Ray Parrish, which many of you may know is a history previous history teacher here. It will be a workshop with topics to include how the Constitution is relevant to us today and the revolution in Guilford County. So we would invite everyone to, if you can, make plans to attend that. We will be reminding you of it again. Our next meeting is the 31st of this month. Now, is that the old revolution or a new one that's coming up? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say February 21st? Is the meeting, excuse me, one at a time. <laughs> what the the meeting what? is at the town hall. I mean, okay. no, I'm sorry, Jay. I'm Jay. Community Center. Community, community, center. community and center. And which were the dates? February 21st and? 28th. And the 28th. Right. And both of those are going to be with Ray Parish? Yes. At the community center? Yes. Well, that sounds very nice. Mm -hmm. And the, the 3D um, video that... Um, that Mr. Brown showed us our, our show at the last meeting. It was very, very interesting. From the inside of the Sondra building, it was very interesting. Thank you. And for Nelson Open Space, Mrs. Dodger. We continue to work on our map. We did not have a meeting in December because uh, the zoning board, we were going to attend the zoning board meeting and it was canceled. So we didn't have a meeting. December. We will be January the 23rd. We continue to work on the map that is, we are uh, delineating and designating the trails and open space and, and hopeful connections in town in hopes that this will uh, allow the zoning board, for one thing, to have to make better decisions as to where open space needs to be so that we can get more contiguous and, um, and connect trails that way. Um, at our next meeting is January the 23rd at Town Hall, and we will um, start working on Founders Day. Yay! Uh, <laughs> we want a big tent. Um, <laughs> and um, we're hoping, the committee is very excited about the, the sidewalk out of the tunnel. And we're hoping tonight that we will continue moving forward with uh, whatever we need to do to get the engineer chosen. And um, we also have, um, we've had a um, re resignation. Uh, Tim Sessons has, resi has resigned and uh, Paul Lambert would, has, would like to come back. So uh, we, remain, we remain with a full roster. And we're waiting for uh, his application. Yeah, I didn't know that. Could other people apply also? Yeah. Uh, sure. I mean, we're always, we, we may have another opening, um, we may have another opening soon. So, sure. So, well, the council would have to would approve the vacancy. Right. Sure. If anybody wants to apply, now's the time to do it. Um, I think people are, are aware that there is a vacancy. Thank you. Um, Founders Day? Uh, planning is uh, progressing, and for anyone interested in being a uh, vendor or a sponsor, information is on our website. And um, information that was attached to committee minutes, there was no event um, after action report um, in the financial report. Um, you know, I've got a question. Mm -hmm. I addressed a question on the committee minutes. One guy on that. Last month, I was reading through there that the historical committee is trying to engage the structures in the community. Why are they doing that? We still can't hear you. I'm I sorry. Hear you. Um, my understanding is that uh, the, the question was, why is the historical committee trying to en engage a structural engineer, uh, and that would be for the Saunders End property, I believe, and um, uh, they are not directly trying to undertake uh, a cost and a proposal for that. Uh, they're, they're looking into that, and we'll let you have more information uh, as that's forthcoming, unless, um, Ms. Ingram, do you have anything to add to that conversation? 
No, Henry's working on that, so I'm sure he'll be prepared as soon as he has some, something to present. Wasn't there some funds that one time collected that found his day or the time of the day? Uh, nothing to my knowledge that's any that's that's been given in any kind of reserve. Have, there are reserves for the historical community that they can use it at their uh, I thought the founders day I've seen a collection bucket out there or something. Any yes. money that has been collected at Founders yes. Day has been has been put into that there's just one account. So any any money that's collected at Founders Day is added to their reserves. And they and the historical committee can use those reserves. This was collected privately. They didn't put it into the town funds. They had a jar because the historical committee was interested in preserving Saunders Inn. So, um, if I recall correctly, Carolyn Collins maybe was the one who was um, <coughs> collecting the funds that year. If it didn't go to the town, okay. actually, I think that was a good question. I asked that a while ago, and um, the finance officer provided the breakdown of the reserve. Of, of what funds are specific within the reserves. And I think if you could share that um, you know, with council members, I think that would be interesting. To see where those, just to know that the reserve funds are there and what they're designated for. They're on the balance sheet, but if you want to know who donated the money, I'll be glad to share with It's more, there's so much for the clock, so much for different, <coughs> different projects, whatever. Um, but I think that would be good for people to have. I remember from the um, the reserve funds uh, for history, I think that was donated by Robert Flowers um, when he had sold some of the uh, some of his paintings, and he gave the, he gave that uh, as a gift and a donation. If you look on page three of the balance sheet, it's all broken down. There's twenty dollars for the welcome sign, one thousand ten dollars and sixty eight cents for the historical committee. $1,324.10 for the clock fund. Wait a minute. Page three? Page three of the balance sheet in your fund. I'm on page three. What number is your Which column? It's the last page of the balance sheet. Page three on the balance sheet. You have to look at the top. I think you're looking at the top of one. Um, any other questions from um, number eight? Okay, we can move. 